Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday market webcast. All right, back with the webcast. Uh, took a little long, uh, long weekend, Friday through uh, the holiday yesterday. Got back last night. So, and my suggestion for anybody that trades or anybody that does everything is that you've got to, you know, you got to take a break. I hadn't taken a vacation. And, I mean, I literally didn't trade Friday. I think that's the first time in at least, we were trying to figure it out in the room, at least five or six years that I literally did not touch the tape for a day. And it's, you know, I, I you know, got to do that. You, you got to do that sometimes. Um, as far as the market goes, it's been a really nice down move. I mean, we got in a very nice extended short trade from Friday, um, you know, in and through, uh, I'm sorry, Thursday, in, in and through. That, that worked out very well. Uh, yesterday off the open was nice. And um, you know, we had the push down last night as far as 45, where they print 30, yeah, 35 half. What they're dealing with now, let's go to the hourly chart. They have to deal with the gold line there, the yellow line. That's the 100 day exponential moving average. Um, that is really the one last area that the bears have got to convert if they want the bigger move, the big pullback into say the 200 day, which is hovering in and around 4380s, something like that. Um, the dominoes have been falling very nicely. I thought they did a good job yesterday uh, following up on the holiday Globex session where they sealed off the weekly pivot at 4658. Sealing that off is a key and they took it, you know, basically they bled it down, fought off the bounces down to that 45, 35 area. So heading into today, the key for me is where do we close relative to the 100? You can see the the hourly uh, the hourly mid band kind of gliding up there. They're both in that, call it 45, 68, 40, you know, 45, yeah, 45, 68 area. I would not be surprised if we got a test of that at some point this morning. And the question is going to be, is that going to be a higher low area? Is that a bounce area? And if it is, then what the bulls would need to do is make a higher high versus a globe X high. And then you can start to reach back up towards the roundy, back towards where it failed yesterday, which is right around 46.15, 46.25. What do the bears want to do? They want to create another lower high. They want to crack this area and they want to close somewhere below. It doesn't have to be some dramatic wily e. coyote off a cliff with a rocket strapped to his back kind of a thing and you know just watch him pummel into the ground and you know the whole thing that's honestly where the bears get themselves into trouble just keep pressure on the market and keep taking it down steadily take the tape down just like when the bears steadily take the tape up in your face for like three months in a row you know you just have to control the bounces um that's not going to be super sustainable, um, but it could be sustainable for, for a few more sessions for sure. But it's all going to be about where to be closed relative to the 100. Um, that's, a, that, that's, the, that's the biggest area on the board right now, for, at least for me. All right, so you've got volume weighted average price sitting there with the 100 day and with the, um, and with the uh, hourly mid band all sitting around 45, 68 area. You've got uh, proprietary moving averages up at 84. You've got the daily pivot today coming in at 99.58. But let's let's see how we open up. Let's see what let's see if they can even generate a move down to that area. And if they do, what does that look like? All right, everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe. Be healthy. Take care. Trade them well. And I'm back with you tomorrow.